Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm doing a mini Blu-ray collection update because I did go back to Big Lots after I posted my bargain Blu-ray hunting trip video over at Big Lots. A couple of you were commenting and letting me know that I should go back for certain movies and so I always listen to you guys. I went back there and I was looking around, digging, trying to see what I could find and I did bring home three more titles, so I'm gonna show that to you. And then also an Amazon pre-order did come in as well. So I'm starting off with Big Lots. So the first item you saw in the thumbnail, probably the reason why you clicked on the video, it grabbed your attention. It is the three movie trilogy of Prom Night. So we have the original Prom Night with Jamie Lee Curtis. We have Prom Night 2, Hello Mary Lou. And then we go from two to four with prom night four. What is it? Deliver us from evil. So here's where I'm confused and I need your help because I know I mentioned this, I believe in that Blu-ray hunting trip when I was looking at this, why does it go from two to four? I'm just extremely confused about that. I'm not familiar with the Prom Night franchise other than the original film. I do own that on Blu-ray already. I have seen it only one time, but I haven't seen any of the other movies. I do have the remake as well, but it's been a while since I've seen that one. But why does it go from two to four? Doesn't it have a three? Does three not exist? That's why I'm confused. I mean, of course I could look this up. I could Google this information, but I think it's more fun to be interactive with you guys. So that's why I'm asking you that question. So if you can drop knowledge on my brain and let me know what's up with this, why is it jumping? Please tell me, I would appreciate it. But uh, I'm excited. I'm excited to own this one. Like I said, I did see the first one. I'm unfamiliar with the other two. I didn't even know four existed. I thought it was just one and two. I have very fond memories of back in the day when I was younger, walking around Blockbuster and Video Galaxy in the horror section. I do remember seeing the VHS tapes for Prom Night and also Prom Night 2, Hello Mary Lou. And this one always, the second one for some reason, just always kind of like grabbed my attention. I think it was the cover artwork of the VHS. So now I'm looking forward to watching the movie. So all three movies here for only $5.99, you really can't beat that. And I think going into the month of October, I'm gonna kind of make it a quest. I do wanna go to Goodwill because I wanna start picking up more horror DVDs and anything that I can grab on the cheap, then that's what I'm going for, obviously. So I figure Goodwill is a very good place to start. So expect a, probably a couple of Goodwill Blu-ray hunting trips as well in the month of October. Just to let you guys know, I have a lot of great stuff planned. I still have to you know, create my calendar for the month of October, but I have a lot of ideas floating around in my brain. There's a major change coming in my life and I will update you about that probably the first couple of days in October. I know I'm kind of sidetracking right now, but I'm excited. I'm really excited for next month. I'm excited where the future could potentially take me. So I'm excited. <laughs> I'm excited and I'm doing my typical Susan rant, but here we go. All right, end of rant, the prom night trilogy. Is there a three? Comment and let me know. <laughs> because that's going to bother me. I need an answer. All right, next up. I went ahead and picked up Throw Mama from the Train because I believe in that video as well. When I was searching around, I commented when I looked at this, isn't there a Blu-ray of Throw Mama from the Train? And I think someone commented and let me know that the Blu-ray is out of print. So you know what? I figure why not? I've actually never seen this movie. I've seen like, I think I've seen bits and pieces. I know the basic concept of the film, but I've never seen it from beginning to end. So I thought, you know what? This is a fun movie to add into the collection on the cheap. $3.99. I mean, you have classic stars, Billy Crystal, Danny DeVito, so this is one I would like to watch in the future. So I'm happy I picked up this one. 
And finally, I picked up this trilogy set because I actually meant to pick this up during the Blu-ray hunting trip, but I got distracted. I walked away from the movie display because I was looking at something else. I went back and I forgot about this item. So I was really hoping that it was there when I went back and it was the Amityville Horror Triple Pack. Now this looks awesome. And that's the main reason why I wanted it. This is like pure for looks only because two of the movies I already own. <laughs> I already own them. It's the original Amityville Horror and then it's the remake Amityville Horror. And I just picked that up on 4K, the remake with Ryan Reynolds. I just picked that up from Scream Factory. So that's going to be one of my 90 and 30 watches for next month. So I already have two of the three. But you know what? This set just looks really, really cool. And I wanted it. It was a want. It was a plain want. I can admit that. I'm admitting it here on camera. <laughs> I mean, I've admitted to so many other embarrassing things on camera. This is nothing. So I wanted this for looks alone. But we do have the third movie down here. Amityville 2, The Possession, that I have never seen. So at least there's one movie in here that I have not seen. And $7.99. $7.99 for the triple pack. So that is cool. That's what it looks like on the side. I just like these sets. I think they're awesome. And that is what the back looks like and the side right here. So yeah, I, I, I double dipped. I double dipped on two of these for the collection, but I don't care because I think this looks freaking awesome. <laughs> Even my mom said something when I got home and I showed her my haul from Big Lots. And then afterwards, when I uploaded the video, she commented and she said, you didn't get that Amityville set? And I was like, I forgot, I forgot to grab it. She's like, go back, go back. Actually, all of these movies, my mom bought for me because my birthday is coming up. So she wanted to buy, she's giving me like a major gift, which I'm so grateful and thankful for. I need it really bad. This guys, I'm getting my hair done on Tuesday. I cannot wait. It's been a long time. So on Tuesday, this is all changing. I'll probably look at least 10 years younger and I'm really looking forward to it. So my mom is paying for me to get my hair done. But on top of that, she said, go back to Big Lots, go and grab, you know, a couple of things that you want. It's on me. So these three items are on Mama Blu-ray, Mama B. So thank you, mom. Thank you, mom. Thank you so much. All right. So now... Now that I told you the story about my hair, let's, let's, I just talk about anything and everything. I ramble. You guys know this. All right. Now the Amazon pre-order. If you watch my channel, which I hope you do, you already know what this is. I commented. I said I was waiting for it. It is, of course it's upside down. Bad boys, ride or die 4K steelbook. I can't wait to watch this movie again. I had such a great time with it at the movie theater. I can't wait to watch it with my parents because I do have to admit, after the whole Will Smith debacle at the Oscars, the slap, everything that happened, my mom was still kind of holding a grudge against him. And I was like, you know what, mom? We have to let it go. We have to let it go. We have to forgive Will Smith. I think he was really going through something. So let's forgive him. So because I said that, she's opening up her mind and she said, okay, I will forgive Will Smith. So she's now open to watching another Will Smith movie. Thank goodness, because I really like this film and I want her to watch it. I think she's really going to enjoy it. So I'm actually going to do a quick unboxing of this 4K Steelbook because I have my scissors right here and this isn't a super long video. So I figure why not do an unboxing? But obviously here is the front with the J card. There is the back with, with the uh, J card. And as far as bonus features, before I take the plastic off here, bonus features, we have outtakes and bloopers, deleted scenes. We also have uh, Will and Martin chemistry 
Legacy and Laughs, The Bruckheimer Legacy, Crafting Bad Boys and Beyond. There's a lot of stuff on here. There's a ton of special features. They'll probably even show more footage of the behind the scenes of that really cool camera angle that the directors were doing with Will Smith that we saw all over the place. So that's really awesome. I love when brand new films are jam packed with special features. That is great. So let's dive in. Let's dive in, take this plastic off. I'm really hoping there's no dents or anything because this is all it came in. No extra protection, no nothing. So I'm really hoping there's no dents. I've been pretty lucky with that so far, I do have to say, but I am going to scan. I'm gonna scan. Okay, I think we lucked out. We lucked out because the steel book is looking pretty good. I'm not seeing, I'm not seeing any, <laughs> sorry. Sorry I have to get like this, but you know what? You gotta sometimes, you gotta check your, your, your stuff out. Okay, here we go. Here's the front, beautiful. I love this steel book. I love the colors. It's so representative of Miami where they're located because Miami is just so bright and so colorful. So I love the blue and the, the pinky purple in the middle. And then we got like the orange going on, the rust color, if you will. And look at the back. That is so nice. I love it. Again, the colors. I love Martin and Will on the back. So that is awesome. Now what's inside? We're going to remove that digital code. And here we go. There's the inside. So again, there's Martin and Will. Of course, we have 4K and Blu-ray. So the 4K is green with a gator on there. That's nice. <laughs> Got a nice little alligator on there. And then the regular Blu-ray. I'll hold it like this because it's upside down. There we go. There's the regular Blu-ray with Martin and Will again. And we'll see if there's anything behind. Oh, it's just a car. But there is the full-on, the full-on inside of the steel book. See the car right there. Very representative of Miami. There we go. And there is the full-on across picture, I guess. Across across picture cover artwork of the steel book there we go so that is everything with the bad boys ride or die 4k steel book beautiful looking steel book and the best part about it is that there's no dents there's no dents in this steel book thank you so much for watching this video today like i said short quick little mini blu-ray collection update just to let you guys know what's going on in the world of my physical media collecting. So here we go again. Big Lots and Bad Boys Ride or Die. Comment down below and let me know if you've been collecting. What have you been getting? What are you adding into your collections? It is Friday. It is the start of the weekend. So if you are going to the movie theater, what do you plan on watching? Don't forget to like and subscribe before you leave. And I'll see you next time.